Welcome back to Data Plays. This is episode 53 of Sky Factory 3. So, last episode we created a brand new island and we're playing with those, what are they called? Like, like a lucky block thing, you open it and either good stuff comes out or super, super bad stuff <laughs> comes out and we had um, some super bad stuff <laughs> come out of that. So go check out that previous episode if you want to know what came out of those. Um... So I've been doing a lot of off-camera work. I mean a metric button. I'm just trying to unload here um, as best I can. But, hey, you probably noticed this thing. So, this thing here, what I did is made some superior freaking furnaces here, which are quite uh, easy to make, see? Right here. And as you know, I've got all that. It's just a... Just uh, some blocks and some actual uh, superior essences, and just yeah, the crafting is a little bit uh, tedious there. But start with the normal furnace, start with the green stuff, and work your way up. I made one of them just to test it. The thing goes like a bat out of hell. Watch this, boop boop boop, done, boop boop boop, done. It is just crazy. So I hook that up to obviously a couple of cobblestone generators here, and that goes down into a quantum storage, which is obviously making stone so we are literally producing stone and why why i set this up is because i was getting uh i wasn't happy i wasn't too freaking happy about um using the normal furnaces so because i'm actually been working on the main base yes i've been working on the main base now don't get me wrong i haven't done too too much but check it out i started swapping blocks out and making it more pretty and a glow at night's quite nice i did the other windows on this side too and if we come all the way over here i started on these windows i've done nearly all the windows like right around check it out I've done nearly all the way around. So that's why I built the freaking stone generator there. Now, my next task is actually to get it to uh, get freaking automatic freaking water stone blocks made because that there is a pain in my freaking bum. Have to get that done. I also started on the second floor here. So as you can see, the second floor, remember, I said I wanted a three gap because I wanted the center empty just in case I wanted to run pipe, redstone, etc., etc. in the main base there. So I started on that, even started putting the second story window in. If you come over here, you can see it. Check this out. Oh, Struth. So she's coming along nicely. Ignore this. This is where I AFK. I'm sorry. I put myself inside this thing and I push the blocks behind me and just, oh. I go off and you know, go off and watch some YouTube and do some other things. So yeah, ignore that. But uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Working on the main base there, trying to chisel away at it. Um, as soon as I get the walls up, we can work on the second floor because I think that's going to be a little bit different than the first floor. And the interior, got to work on the interior. Got some ideas for that too. So Struth, been doing those two things, crocky. So yeah, and from there, look, oh, that, I, oh, bloody Struth, it's raining. So, now, from now on, we've got pretty much an unlimited supply of stone constantly going into a quantum storage, which is bloody brilliant. Uh, okay, so, I've also made some more quantum chest, uh, quantum, actual quantum storage. I made a quantum tank too, and I'll show you guys why shortly. So, I've got 18 quantum storage units, and I've got one quantum tank. The tanks are super easy to freaking make. The quantum tanks hold 2 billion freaking water, or what, MBs, or whatever the freak they are. But it's just... It's pretty much just uh, obsidian chests, which I had, some diamonds, and just an iron drum, and some weighted pressure plates. Gee, freaking gee, iron cauldron, and so on and so on. So, freaking crikey, guys. So, we got, I got one of those, got those ready to go. I've also been getting, making some of the, this crystal, uh, crystal clear glass. We need that for conduit uh, very, very shortly. Okay, see, yeah, I've been doing a bunch of stuff. Unfortunately, I'm almost out of freaking diamonds um, because the stupid um, uh, the, the, the 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 diamond chest. I made 64 diamond chests to get that freaking amount of bloody storage there. Okay, so what I want to do is I got a tip about uh, uh, for an unlimited water source is called the sink. That's literally what it's called. Um, this is called the sink, and it's a multi-block. It's Part of, it's part of cooking for blockheads and pretty much um, provides water to recipes. Uh, so that's pretty much what we want. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Very dirt cheap, as you can see, just logs. Yeah, just logs, a bit of iron and a bucket of bloody water. Strofe. Nice and cheap there, I think. Nice and cheap if, if I can manage to hunt down you know, a couple of buckets here, you bloody rotten. Oh, there we are. 
And some logs, which... We'll go get some. We'll go get some. Alright. So, we'll grab a bucket. Go grab some logs from the chickens. Buckark! Oh, hello. Thank you. Drop the, the, the poo. Drop that as well. And we'll go ahead and quickly make that up. I think it was that. That. And a bit of iron. Which we should have a butt ton laying around. Because iron is just plentiful right now. There we go. Sink. Gotcha. So what we'll do is... Should we build it right here? I think we can build it right here. So what I'll do... Yeah, we'll leave this alone. Crikey. I'm not sure. If I move that over here, we could... No. We'll just build it over here. We'll build it over here. So what we'll go ahead and do is remove the water source right here now. Because this is going to become... Um, I need some building blocks to remove that. That's going to become our new freaking, um, uh, what's it call it, generator. So we'll come back here. There we go. Break some of these. Okay. So now, the goal is to automate the crap out of making ourselves some, um, what's it call it. So I'm going to probably put it, uh, I'll put it one up. All right. The, the sink is going to be like the furnace. I'm trying to match the other side. So this is the sink. We can't even click on it, unfortunately. Apparently the sink provides unlimited water if you conduit out. Now, the only conduit I made is this conduit here, which is for our um, our chicken laying, sta chicken laying station there. So unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think I have any fluid conduit laying around. And that's exactly why... I smelted down some not quite clear glass because all we're going to need for fluid stuff, fluid, fluid conduit. Uh, where are you? Fluid conduit. There we go. Yeah, I, I knew it. So I'm going to have to get some of this um, this binder stuff, uh, which is freaking um, clay. Is it clay? So what the blimmin' crikey. I've forgotten the recipe. It is... Ah, yeah, that's right. Bob's your uncle. Got to get some of this stuff going. It's more freaking gravel and a bit of sand, a bit of clay. No problem. Unless we have some laying around. We've got six there. So we might actually have enough just to get us through this, actually. Hang on. Blooming crikey. All right, so what we'll do. Uh, I think, it, what was it? No, it was a stripe in the middle. My bad. Stripe in the middle. Not quite clear. Stripe on that, drop on that. Bob's your uncle, eight. Okay, that should get us through what we want. We're going to grab out the quantum, uh, the quantum tank here, and we're going to literally pump the water into a quantum tank constantly. See? See? So we have a quantum, we've got a quantum tank over here making a quantum freaking storage, like storing up fuck loads of freaking stone, and we're going to have this guy here, hopefully, ba bomb hopefully, cross fingers, because this was a tip... Extract and turn off. There we go. See, water is coming out. And all we got it. Look, there you go. She's filling up right now. Bob's your blooming uncle. We're gonna have, we're gonna have millions and billions of MBs in this freaking quantum tank. So that's going to be good right there. Ah, oh, bloody brilliant. Now, do we have any auto crafters left over? Because I know for a fact, um, where would a one be? Where would one be? We can go just take one out over there. I swear I had some auto crafters like laying around still. I don't want to make any more. Like legit. I don't want to make any more. We'll go nick one of these because this is not needed anymore. We don't need this guy here. So we'll go ahead and take this guy out. Which is the mechanical auto crafter. You know it was dirt cheap to make another one. We'll gra grab you out. Plomp you down probably, yeah, I would say here. Let's plomp him down there to try and match that sort of thing. Yeah, we'll plomp him down there. Okay. All right, so I've got some item conduit as well. So what I want to do is filter. There will oh, be a filter over here, actually. My bad. Here we go. One filter coming right up. Okay. So what I want to do is what I'll do is break the sink now. We're going to break the sink. Oh man, why does it take so long to break this freaking sink? Bloomin' stroth! Break the sink. There we go. It's broken, right? It's broken. So what I want to do is hook up, shift. There we go. We're gonna. 
I, I never use this, and, I, and I've been called out from it from multiple times. And I know, I know, people call me out for not using this all the bloody time. But you can use, co- like, a fluid and electricity and all that sort of stuff in the one block. I never used to used do that. So you can use, like, so that's conduit. Normally you would run you would run a freaking, you know, electricity or water, you know, side by side because they take up a block. But if you hold shift, you can actually put them in the same block so you don't really you can you know do that how that's pretty cool but i i keep forgetting to do it like every time my mind skips it i don't know what it is my mind just sort of always goes right over the top of it and i, I keep kicking myself because i read the comments and everyone's like you should have used that you, you data you do know that i'm like yes i actually do but i'm a moron and i don't use it all right, so we're going to put this on an in and outer. There we go. We're also going to put this one here on an in and outer. Hopefully, I'm extracting the right one here. Well, I bloody better be. All right, in outer. Okay, and then obviously that should be automatically ch- set. So what I want to do is the extract. I want to tell it to only extract. Um, where's that filter? There we go. No, what I want to do the fil no. Okay, the filter's going to go on this. So we want to tell it to only extract the bucket. I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I know what I'm doing. I'm probably overcomplicating the crap out of this. Okay, so what we'll do is just get one, get we're a stack of these bad boy out. Come over here. Create a pattern really quickly. Boom, 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 boom. I need a bucket of water real quick, which is no problem. If you put the bucket in the input, we'll grab it. There we go. And throw it in the center here. Boom. So that obviously creates the, the chisel water. And then we take it from there and we chisel it from there. And we use it in our builds and all that good stuff. So we'll plump the bucket back in here. So what I want it to do is obviously as soon as it's used the bucket in the making of the water stone. Um, obviously it's going to be an empty bucket. So I want this guy here to extract. Which is going to... There we go. Extract the empty bucket, which is not empty right now, and place it back into the quantum tank, ready to be refilled. Okay, Are you sort of getting where I'm going with this? And so and then we tell this guy here to just extract it back out. So it doesn't matter what, extract it back out. So I'll plump the sink back in there. Plump like that. That should, should be filling back up, am I right? Yes, it's filling back up. Okay, so we don't need to set that back up. That's already set. So the water is now coming in from the sink and making us pure uh, infinity water there. So we don't we need to worry about that. So if we put in, say, a stack of stone. Okay, so it has not extracted the bucket for some reason. The bucket has not been extracted from the actual unit itself. Um, okay, what's going on here? This is extract. It's on... And this is an is on insert. Am I correct? Yeah, this is on insert and extract. Bloody struth. Yeah, that's what I don't. I'm never. I'm not used to having the pipes in the same, same one here. But it should extract the empty bucket, and place it back into here. Which oh, it just disappeared. Oh, and it used it. Oh oh oh, it's going. Oh, it's running. My bad. It's running. What the frig? Do we just experience lag? It just made 64 water stone. So if I was to go over here and I was to say, uh, I want five stacks, please, of water stone ready for building the main base, please. And boom, 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 boom. Off it goes. How bloody brilliant is that? We've now come up with an automated system to automate our water stone. No longer... Do we have to? Like, I could hook it right into this guy here, which I probably would. I think I'm going to keep this full of water stone. So, what I can do is, I think I can do, is pretty much run underneath so we don't actually see it. Boom, boom, boom. But run it right underneath, tucked away. Um, we'll even break this one here. Okay, so right underneath. Really, I didn't have to break that many. I was a. Oh, I'm silly. All right, so we sort of run it this way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, truth, not that way. And we sort of come up its bum like that. Break this bad boy here. Oh, go all the way around, up. 
Oh, crikey. Nothing's attacking us, which is good. Mob farm is still chugging along. Okay, so we tell it to extract now. Oh, there was a hole here. My bad. Extract. Like that. And now we should be extracting stone. Um, hang on. Can I, can I see that? Yeah, no, I can't see that. Ah! All right, hang on. Go down. Around. And tell it to insert. Go. All right, there you go. So, guys, that means this auto crafter will always keep 100% of its inventory full of water stone ready for us, constantly making it. So, no longer we can just literally come up here and grab stone and what's them call it. So, because obviously we don't want all. Reason why I. Because you're probably wanting data. Why don't you just hook it up to another quantum storage and have a quantum storage constantly making water stone? Because I know, you know, you guys know I'm using a lot of the water stone around my builds. But to be honest with you guys, I just want uh, like an inventory full. That's it. Because I really want the stone for stuff, for other things. Once if I want stone brick and this is empty. Once if my quantum storage unit is literally empty because it's always making water stone. I want sort of a half-half system, so which is quite freaking awesome. I, well, I think it's bloody quite awesome there. Oh, truth, see, it's actually the bucket's not being not being able to be kept up, but that's cool. Look at that! It's a boom, 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 and it looks like the sink is generating enough water. To keep up like we could double the sink and it would double the water output if we weren't generating enough water but it looks like we are generating enough stone we are generating enough buckets it's fine it's absolutely fine if we want to i could probably pop a chest over this side and tell it to extract just the water stone and put the water stone in the chest but i don't think that's necessary i don't think that's necessary at all oh hello where did you come from you killer whatever number you are oh really really bye bye Walk off. Oi! You rotten bugger, you. Get off. Thank you. Now, you've probably... Yes, you did. Drop that out the world. But we can replace all this now. Not necessary to keep that like that. But that's freaking brilliant. It's going to make life so much easier. Um, actually, now we want... What we could do is on this side hook up a auto crafter for stone brick as well so on this side we'll have water brick and this side we'll have um what's so it makes building life a lot freaking easier for me so let's keep taking this out because all this is going to come out soon anyway i'm just being totally honest with you guys all this is coming out very soon so it's not necessary i'm not i'm not going to bother obviously remaking stuff when i've got stuff on hand we're going to be starting on uh revamping this mob farm very soon and where the freak did it just go did I just break it? Thank you, rotten bugger. I used the wrong freaking tool there. So if we come and plop this guy over this side here, obviously, and we tell it to make stone bricks, so we have literally stone on hand. There we go. So that, oh, look at that. So that's going to be making stone bricks now, so we don't have to make them on the fly. Boom, boom, boom. And this inventory can just be flooded with literally stone bricks as well. So we'll just hook that up to the main line. Boom. So when it's full, it should be round rod robined anyway. Boom, boom. And break this one here. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And then sort of come up the bum here. Tell it to insert. And this. So when this is full, it should be, yep. Okay, it's flooding this now with brick and converting it over. So now we have a literally a double system of lit, uh, what's gonna call it running here. I think I'm gonna put two chests out the front because it's gonna look sexier with two chests, to be honest. Um, and put a piece of wood back there, quirky, because I think these guys automatically e like you know expend into chests. So, oh, what the frig? There was four right there. You guys are probably screaming at me. I apologise. I apologise. Boom, boom. Oh, bugger. Oh, that would look so much sexier. We had this little station hooked up. It, no, blummin' struth. We can hook a couple of filters up. Or oh, do we? We wouldn't just come out over the, over the top here. We just come over the top, to be honest. Whoa! Mm, okay. Stupid with a skull. Go away. 
boom, and sort of just come over the top like that on both sides. There we go. So we don't have to hook up any filters. And we just tell it to extract. And it should extract just the stone on well, the stone brick, the, the water stone. There we go. So maybe we need to put a filter on that. I probably should have went from underneath. But that does look pretty sexy. I do like that. I do like that indeed. All right, let's put a filter on it anyway. Um, we got two more filters here. We got fil basic filter up. I think these two already have stuff on them. So we'll just pump that in insert. And we want obviously just stone brick to be inserted into there. And just tell it to extract. There we go. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, see, oh, we extracted the bucket. That is, no, oh, that's a huge no-no. That just stopped our entire system, which is a huge, huge no-no. Uh, we need just the water stone, please, just so I can add it to the system here. Um, actually, actually, crikey, hang on a second. Hang on. I think I have a couple left over iron chests laying around, do I? Because they're a lot bigger. They're like a double chest. I should have had diamond chests laying around. Uh, I suppose we could use just a couple of obsidian chests. That will do fine too. Are they just as big as a double chest? Oh, crikey, I just wasted that. Bloody truth. There we go. Alright. There you go. Lot bigger. Look at that. Look at that. Lot bigger. Do the same with this one over here. There we go. Bob's your uncle. Hey, now we're talking. Now we're freaking talking, guys. Alright, let's put the bucket in so the obviously can keep on automating truth swap uh, this out there we go off it goes there you go okay i like that i like that a lot automated wa water stone and automated freaking stone brick bludgy legend that there is awesome and we are producing more water than we're taking this little sink guy, he was handy. Thank you very much to whoever suggested that. That was, that was a suggestion bonks ago, by the way. Just a heads up. That was a suggestion bonks ago. <laughs> oh, crikey. All right, I think we're going to call it now. I've successfully done that. That's going to help so much when building stuff now. You know, we're going to have stone bricks on hand and water bricks literally on, on hand now. And, and hopefully we're not going in the rears with stone. Stone. but technically once these guys are full this should start building up anyway so i shouldn't have to worry too much about that all right good stuff system set up perfect bloody brilliant because we've set this up we're actually going to be remember well crikey don't look at the enderman we're actually going to be working on our mob farm very soon we, i did to tell everybody that um right as of now like we are not the loot is full there's full everything everywhere. The only thing we are collecting technically is wither skulls, and there's multiple things I want to do. And we have 37,000 wither skeleton skulls on hand right now. And this has got to be pretty. Uh, the, the, the woods, I want to double the size of the farm. Like, right now, this is a baby farm. To be honest, I don't think the game is spawning its full potential in there. So I'm thinking if we double this size here and make it out of the water brick as well, and then put... Um, quantum storage and auto freaking um what are these sag mills going for diamonds that's going to be brilliant i've got some good ideas got some bloody good ideas all right guys we're going to go ahead and call it now thanks for watching episode 53 of sky 53 of sky factory 3 don't forget if you're enjoying the content please leave a like comment below and share on your faithful favorite social media it'll be much appreciated all right guys i'll catch you all later